Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. 6th February has been quite a historic moment for defense enthusiasts. Usually we don't make defense update videos. However, there were so many news coming that it was difficult to cover them individually. Therefore, we decided to make a combined video. Please do let us know your feedback regarding the same. And with this note, let's start our today's defense update. So as per recent report from Jeans, the Indo-Russian Rifle Private Limited, a joint venture between Russia and India to manufacture AK-203 assault rifles for Indian Armed Forces, has completed the production of the first batch of 500 rifles in Korwa Ordnance Factory in Amethi, Uttar Pradesh, and the beginning of deliveries to Indian Army will commence soon. The plan is to produce a total of 6 lakhs AK-203 rifles for Indian Army over 10 years and in next 32 months, about 70,000 rifles will be produced with an indigenous content of up to 70%. Following this batch, every AK-203 rifle will be produced with 100% indigenous content. Klashnikov has already delivered a batch of 70,000 AK-203 rifles off the shelf from Russia to Indian Armed Forces. The next update is regarding LCA Navy, MiG-29K and INSP Krant. On 6 February, which has been a quite historic moment for India as its indigenously designed and developed fighter jet, LCA Navy demonstrated landing and takeoff from the deck of indigenous aircraft carrier INSP Krant. MiG-29K of Indian Navy has also demonstrated the takeoff and landing from Vikrant. Now, Indian Navy at present operates two aircraft carriers. ISP Vikrant has also commenced the sea trials after major refitment after catching fire on 20th July 2022. The warship is also expected to commence the flight trials before monsoon. Both aircraft carriers are expected to be operational by the end of year 2023. Now, next update is regarding India's biggest helicopter manufacturing facility. Again, on 6 February 2023, the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi inaugurated the HAL's helicopter factory, which is country's largest helicopter manufacturing facility in Tumkur district of Karnataka. PM also took walkthrough of helicopter facility and structure hangar, and also the light nuclear helicopter was unveiled. The Greenfield Helicopter Factory is spread across 615 acres of land and will be one-stop solution for all helicopter requirements of the country. It will initially produce LUH and will have capacity to produce around 30 helicopters per year, which will be further scaled up to 60 and later on to 90 in a phased manner. The HL plans to produce more than 1,000 helicopters in the range of 3 to 15 tons with a total business of around 4 lakh crores over a period of 20 years. The factory will be augmented to produce other helicopters such as Light Combat Helicopter LCH and Indian multi Helicopter IMRH. It will also be used for maintenance, repair and overhaul of LCH, LUH, Civil ALH and IMRH in the future. Now our last update is related to S-400. S-400, as we all know, is the best surface to missile defense system. In the year 2018, India had signed a contract worth Rs 35,000 crore to purchase five squadrons of S-400. The delivery of first squadron of S-400 commenced from November 2021 and is now operational. The delivery of second squadron commenced in February 2022 and it is also complete. Now, Russia has recently said that it has completed the delivery of third squadron. All the five squadrons are planned to be delivered by the end of year 2023. The first squadron of S-400 was expected to be deployed in Punjab, covering western and northern frontier with both China and Pakistan. The second squadron of S-400 is deployed in east near Siliguri Corridor, also known as Chicken's Neck and the third squadron of S-100 will be deployed in Rajasthan covering western airspace with Pakistan. This was today's update. 
please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector